Time for another Big Squid Studios video. Hi everybody. Part 2 of the terrain videos. I will be showing you what I've been working on. There's a little bit. <clears throat> but before we get too much, I'm going to spin a little bit to make you sick. Now that I have you all disoriented, quick shout out to The Gunny Show. That's right. Now, okay, so you did a video which was very flattering and I appreciate your words. Very kind things said. I really appreciate what you said. Um, I have to be honest, I hadn't seen The Gunny Show before now. But I'm happy for the crazy coincidence that has brought us together in awesomeness. I don't know how my little intro song ended up being so crazy similar to yours for that last video. But it was meant to be. Because now, I watch The Gunny Show. And now, I'm going to recommend The Gunny Show. I put a link down there. Or the address to it. I guess I didn't really do a link. I don't know how to do links. But the address is down there. <clears throat> Gunny Show. Here on YouTube. Talks about the Black Fist chapter that he's created. All the other stuff that he's got going on. So shout out to The Gunny Show. Thank you for the awesome video. And the recommendation. And I'm returning it. Go check it out. Gunny Show. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing terrain-wise. Here it is. This, this is what I've got so far. Not a lot of work done. Just getting there. So here's the table that I started with. Okay. Uh, like I was saying before, it's like a red rock desert cliff type thing. Working with styrofoam right now. Obviously, things aren't fully sculpted. Because... That's dumb. These big squares, that's not going to happen that way. There's also some free pieces that are kind of placeholders. They're just showing me where I want major things to be. And then I will do more actual sculpting. So, it'll, you know, it'll have more of a uh, feel like this, right? And I'll get it all painted up and be fancy pants and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, here's a little bit of scale for you. Here's a privateer press miniature there. Okay. This this uh, wood is not quite four by four. It's like four by three and a something. Right. So it's it's longer this way. Anyway, you don't need you don't you don't care about that. So the the plan is it'll be kind of like a little old abandoned mining camp. And there'll be some boardwalks to get you to the different levels here for the skirmish game so it's easier to get around. Uh, let me just show you some of the tools that I've been using. Okay, here's a, here's a classic one. Utility knife. Great for carving up foam. Carve, carve. Hot glue gun. Great for gluing up some foam glue. Um, look at this. So this is a low temperature. You can get low temperature and high temperature. Uh, the high temperature can actually heat the glue so hot that it will melt the foam. And if the, <clears throat> if the glue drips on your finger, which, which has never happened to me, it burns. It burns. Okay, and then we have one of these. These come in different um, styles. This is a, a a styrofoam cutter. Okay, so it heats up this metal rod there, metal wire. Let's see, do I even have this turned on? I do. Okay, let's see if it's hot enough to start doing some work. So, 
You can use it oh, to just cut right through foam. Okay, so that's when you need more precise cuts. It's also good for doing lots of stuff like this, you know, starting to add some lines. So I can just come in here and be like, you know, add some, some, uh, you know. Some lines, some cuts in the stone like would be found in this type of rock, those vertical cuts. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you more as I, uh, as I go. I almost just burned myself again. Thanks for watching. Spinning with me into warp.